is only 43 miles wide. Because Guam is a U.S. territory and the 15 Northern Mariana Islands are a U.S. Commonwealth, the United States has jurisdiction over the Mariana Trench. In 2009, President George W. Bush established the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument, which cre created a protected marine reserve for the approximately 195,000 square miles of seafloor and water surrounding the remote islands. It includes most of the Mariana Trench. that occurs in a subduction zone where two massive slabs of oceanic crust collide. At a subduction zone, one piece of oceanic crust is pushed and pulled underneath the other. Sinking into the Earth's mantle, the layer under the crust, where the two pieces of crust intersect, a deep trench forms above the bend in the sinking crust. In this case, the Pacific Ocean crust is bending below the Philippine crust. The Pacific crust, also called a tectonic plate, is about 180 million years old, where it dives into the trench. The Philippine plate is younger and smaller than the Pacific Plate. At subduction zones, the cold, dense crust sinks back into the mantle and is destroyed. As deep as the trench is, it is not the spot closest to the center of the Earth, because the planet at the equator. The radius at the poles is about 16 miles or 25 kilometers less than the radius at the equator. So parts of the Arctic Ocean seabed are closer to the Earth's center than the Challenger Deep. The crushing water pressure on the floor of the trench is more than 8 per square inch, or 703 kilograms per square meter. This is more than 1,000 times the pressure felt at sea level, or the equivalent of having 50 jumbo jets piled on top of a person. Unusual volcanoes. A chain of volcanoes that rise above the ocean waves to form the Mariana Islands mirrors the crescent-shaped arc of the Mariana Trench. Interspersed with the islands are many strange undersea volcanoes. For example, the Ifuku submarine volcano spews liquid carbon dioxide from hydrothermal vents similar to chimneys. chimneys is 217 degrees Fahrenheit or 103 degrees Celsius. Scientists, whoops, at the Daikoku submarine volcano, scientists discovered a pool of molten sul sulfur 1,345 feet the ocean surface, something seen nowhere else on Earth. Life in the Trench Scientific expeditions have discovered surprisingly diverse 
diverse life in these harsh conditions. Animals living in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench survive in complete darkness and extreme pressure. Food in the Mariana Trench is extremely limited because the deep gorge is far from land. Leaves, coconuts, and trees rarely find their way into the bottom of the trench. And dead plankton sinking from the surface must drop thousands of feet to reach Challenger Deep. Instead, some microbes rely on chemicals such as methane or sulfur, while other creatures gobble marine life lower on the food chain. The three most common organisms at the bottom of the Mariana Trench are xenophyrophores. Or xenophyrophores. I think I said that right, I don't know. Amphipods and small sea cucumbers. The single celled xenophyrophores. Resemble giant amoebas, and they eat by surrounding and absorbing their food. Amphipods are shiny, shrimp like scavengers commonly found in deep sea trenches. The holothurians may be a new species of bizarre translucent sea cucumber. are some of the deepest Holothurians ever observed, and they were relatively abundant. Scientists have also identified more than 200 different microorganisms in mud collected from the Challenger Deep. The mud was brought back to labs on dry land in special and it is painstakingly kept in conditions that mimic the crushing cold and pressure. During Cameron's 2012 expedition, scientists also spotted microbial mats in the Serena Deep, the zone east of the Challenger Deep. These clumps of microbes feed on hydrogen and methane released by chemical reactions between seawater and rocks. Humans and the Trench In 1875, the trench was discovered by the HMS Challenger using recently invented sounding equipment during a global circumnavigation. was sounded again by HMS Challenger, the second Challenger Deep was named after the two vessels. In 1960, a deep boat reached the bottom of Challenger Deep. It was the first vessel to do so, and was manned U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and Swiss scientist Jacques Picard. In 1995, the Japanese unmanned submarine Kaiko gathered samples and useful data, data from the trench. In 2009, the United States sent a hybrid remotely operated vehicle to the floor of Challenger Deep. The vehicle remained on the seabed for nearly 10 hours. In 2012, Cameron manned the deep sea Challenger and reached the seabed, but was unable to capture any photos due to a hydraulic fluid leak. And that is all I have. Video on the Mariana Trench. I hope this was an interesting video for you, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. And this week's Facts Friday video will be on Teutonic Knights. So, if you are interested in history, I hope you will check it out. Don't forget.
browser instead of downloading an application to make it even easier for people to support. So as soon as I hear back from Dad, I will let you know.